Hi, this is Luigi Tramontana again from Craft Animations and uh, this is part two of the Observer Cam tutorial and let's just have a look at that camera in this kind of scene. This car here has been uh, animated previously here but it's not checked here. The key, it doesn't have the key here. It's unchecked there so it will not um, be simulated. So it keeps its keyframe and it's just played back while the others are filming it. Because I'm alone here so I can't do more sophisticated driving than that. Okay, and uh, what you notice here is that the Zuma Focus Cam is um, mounted on top of the or underneath uh, child. It's a child to the Observer Cam. So wherever the Observer Cam moves, the Zuma Focus Cam flies with it. And this enables us, if we look through the zoom and focus cam now, like that, then uh, yeah, we see the clipping planes are a little bit messed up. Let's fix that immediately. Uh, this is uh, due to the scale of the, uh, let me just show you that, so you have seen that. The reason for this is that this one has a scale 100, and uh, Maya... Uh, this is not a problem in 3ds Max uh, or any other, I, I guess. But in Maya, if you have a, a camera parented to something that is scaled, this will happen. So that's why this one, this camera here, needs to to decrease its uh, near clipping plane a hundred times, and we could actually decrease this one a hundred times also. So. I guess that has to do with when you scale something that is parented to something else that it uh, this just happens. Okay, so what we will see here uh, right now is that uh, try this, and uh, the zoom and focus cam must be underneath the observer cam here, so that simulation order is correct. The same as the hierarchy. Okay, so if I press record here. I will just uh, have the the two cameras, the car driving here. Uh, we'll just jump into the zoom of focus cam there. Okay, so just see here what happens. So, well, um, uh, yeah, maybe the the observer cam is a little bit uh, fast here for for this kind of this this size here. Let's move that back and uh, do it as the last time like that. I will do that again quickly here so that we get behind the car otherwise we will be filming upside down. Which is not because uh, I know that the car is coming in here. So what I do here is uh, I have mapped my zoom to the two, two uh, buttons on my, it's an integrated zoom and I zoom in and as you see here I have huge problems following this car in a smooth fashion so what I do then is to simply rewind it to a position where it was okay like from here then I increase the slow motion factor I can also go into the preferences here right now to um, decrease that to 1 the start countdown time because that's also affected by this and now when I press record everything will go in slow motion and I will have very good controls of my reflexes. So I zoom in, zoom in more and this gives such a nice wonderful feeling of uh, this being actually filmed by a real cameraman. I'm zooming in a bit more like that now it's really really sensitive here zoom in some more that goes behind those houses let's hope that the car is actually moving in the same speed all the time so that we'll catch it out coming out on the other side here yep there we have it nice so i continue this way and just the keeps keep and as soon as i i do a, um something that I know like here for example I just stop it and rewind it to a position where I felt good and continue from there and uh, well 
if I'm doing it that way all the time, then I will be a super cameraman, you know, and it will look so authentic that it's ridiculous. And I just follow this car here and uh, making this filming here look like a million bucks later on. Like that. So that's the way I do this. And uh, let's rewind this. Now, the keyframes are, of course, one per frame in the real speed. And since this is a Camtasia recording here, you won't be able to see this properly, I guess. Uh, but uh, as we have here, we have the super cameraman really, really filming this car going. And uh, he he has reflexes like no one else, like that. And uh, what I what we can do now is also to show how we could use the 3D connection mouse in combination with the observer cam. So if I go into the observer cam here and uh, right uh, and double click on the 3DX mouse, then my Space Explorer mouse here will be automatically bound. And what I want to do also here uh, to to uh, I want to go in and choose some of the presets here and I could choose the immediate 3DX here but I actually like it when it's a little bit smoother than immediate because uh, uh, I, would, I would choose quick okay let's choose quick and uh, I will also check the roll here because uh, with the 3DX mouse I want the roll to be active so let's see what that does now so if I hit record here and grab my 3D connection mouse, let's see what, what it does. Yeah, you see, you, I can immediately induce the roll here. And uh, if I wanted, I could... Yeah, it's slow motion right now. So maybe, maybe it doesn't have to be slow motion, but I would recommend using the slow motion as much as possible here. So as you see here, I get a very, very nice sort of filming method here that is just amazingly organic when it comes to uh, the result, the authenticity of this kind of filming is just amazing. So I just follow the car, maybe go closer, uh, and as soon as I make a mistake, I just rewind make it all over again so you see this is just amazing it's like a, a helicopter guy trying to and if I do this together with the zoom and focus cam and uh, I won't grab my my joystick I could actually do that because the 3d connection mouse is in, is in my right hand but uh, what I would do here is uh, if I zoom now a little bit like that so I'm zooming at the same time I'm moving this 3D connection mouse here I'm zooming in now this gets a little bit difficult this is not the camera to, to do these uh, these this is not the controller to do these zooming things with you can do it of course as I do here but the main purpose with the 3D connection mouse is to do these crazy difficult uh, flyings uh, that, that no one can do uh, but it still will look very very real okay so the last two features I'm going to show are the um, walk cycle and the shaker now the shaker is just shaking see you shake here as soon as I press the button and uh, well it's a very simplistic way of shaking the camera but it works for for uh, explosions and if you put it a little bit smaller then it could actually be felt as a handheld uh, but uh, the humanizer cam is of course the the choice of pick there and the uh, next is a walk cycle there is a walk cycle being built into the humanizer cam by the way and if I just move this one now and uh, press the walk cycle I will get the impression that I'm walking like this so this is good for architecture and uh, those kind of things so it just can walk around here and have fun. So that's all I'm going to show you here. Thank you very much.